Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're at the fish tank. And if you notice, we've got some African cichlids in here. Nothing else is in here. Where are my other fish? They're right here. So, you notice there's only guppies and a garami in here. My German blue rams and golden rams kept dying. I don't know why. So I'm done with them. So I switched to African cichlids because they're way better. So... I've got these over here, and then I've got minnows to feed to my bass and stuff. We're going to do that in a separate video. But I'm just going to transfer these to my brother's tank, because he's got, like, tetras and stuff. And then with these, they're going in. So th I think they're ready to be put in the tank. They're kind of getting aggressive with each other in that little space. So I'm going to put them in the, in the tank. But for some reason, the lady didn't put any oxygen in the thing. So that was kind of tarted. Um, I'm going to keep the koi catfish in here. If it starts getting bullied, I'll move it. But one thing that's a problem is one of my guppies is giving birth. So I have, like, babies in here still that are probably going to get eaten. Like, look up there. I don't know if you can see it. Back there, there's a baby. You can't see it right now. Like, look, there's a baby right there. But I can't get to it. So they're just going to get eaten by the African cichlids. I saved about like 20, and they're all in there. But these are going to only stay in this 10-gallon for about like two or three weeks till they overgrow it, and then they're going into a 20-gallon where my bass is because my bass is moving to my pond. And then all these will probably go back in here, and I'll get a whole bunch of more fish. So yeah, here are these guys. Let's put them in the tank. Um, but yeah, we've got the African cichlids right in here. And I'm not going to put the PetSmart water in. I'm going to nut them out because PetSmart water is diseased and it probably has Ebola in it. <laughs> Ebola, actually. Alright, let's do this. Going in for the first one. Alright, we got two. They're coming out and they're going in. We're going to gently let them in. Here we go. They're the first two. They're perfect size for this tank right now. So anyone who comments below, because I already know I'm going to get some comments saying those are not big enough for your tank. They're perfectly fine. We'll go for just this one for now. Alright. I got four of them, hopefully three females. Probably not. I'm probably going to end up with a couple males. But... We'll see. I'm probably going to have two. So I decided to get him since he was dominant. Here we go. This comes out. And then in this Tupperware we have baby guppies, but that's not relevant to this video. But just letting you guys know they're safe in there. But yeah, hopefully these guys do really well in here. even more cichlids we got four more we got I'm not sure if these are what they say they are but I'm gonna put them in the tank for now so you can get a better look here they are but they look super cool I'm gonna let them acclimate guys and I'll be back in like 10 minutes 10 or 15 I got some Areta cichlids, so we'll see how they do with the yellow ones. Or the yellow labs, I guess you could say. Which have gotten huge since the last video. It's been a week since I last filmed. Alright guys, the Aratus are ready to be put into the fish tank. I think they're Aratus, but they don't look like it. Let me zoom in on it. They don't really look like Aratus. They do on the camera, but 
I don't know. Let's put them in with the electric yellows. All right, we got one, guys. It's going in. I'm just going to slowly get it out. Like that. There we go. It's in. It looks so cool. Let's go for the other one. The reason I'm netting them is because I don't want any of this water in my tank. Because, you know, PetSmart water is sketchy. And we've got the other second bigger one. Still small, though. All right, first small one. Oh, you gotta swim, dude. You can't just go limp. Swim. All right, he's in. And then the last Aratus cichlid. Probably the last fish in this tank as well. It's going in. Okay, come on. There we go, it's in. We got all the fish in there, guys. Take this big bag out. Put it over here. There we go. All the cichlids are in, and the yellow one is being a punk towards them. All four of them are on this side. I got them in a group of four, so they're not too aggressive, because I heard you have to get them in four or five, but hopefully everything goes as planned. I'm going to feed them. It's in. Pretty cool, guys. I'll let you know if I get any more.